Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Ashley, with Her Story, My Life. And today is a very exciting video for me and should be for you if you have a graduate in your family or a close friend. Yes, I said <laughs> class of 2022. We are ready to rock and roll. We are um, about two weeks out from graduation and we are super excited. So guess what? Today we're gonna be talking about graduation gifts or gift ideas. Now, I have one, and I guess you guys, y'all know Elijah's not gonna let me do this video by myself. He'll be up and down, I'm sure, but y'all gonna ignore him just like y'all gonna ignore this bonnet, or at least look at him because he's handsome. Ignore this bonnet. I thought about not even doing this video because my hair wasn't combed, but I said, you know what? Let's do it anyway. Let's give the people what they need in their lives. So, I first wanna start off by saying congratulations to all the graduates class of 2022, including my baby, which he'll get mad if I call him a baby, but he is my baby, Andreas. So congratulations, Andreas, on your graduation. So like I said, we're gonna get into some gift, some graduation gift ideas. They can be for boy or girl, but I'm specifically talking about for boy because I have an eighth grade boy that is graduating. Now these gifts can be for eighth grade, they can be for high school, they can even be for college if you extend them just a little bit more because let's be honest, that age range from eighth grade to college, there's not really a big difference. They still pretty much doing the same things, just a little bit deeper, that's all. So I'm gonna go step by step. I think I have about 10 gift ideas that I'm gonna share with you all today. And you all gonna have to excuse y'all nephew in the background because he on one because he wants to do what he wants. Number one, and this is not in any particular order, I just wanna get them out there to you guys. So. For a boy or a girl, I would say you can do a self-care basket so that they can have the things that they may need that they don't necessarily think that they need or they don't think to get. So a self-care basket can include things like body wash, shampoo, conditioners, um, toothbrush. Now in this video, I'm also gonna try and include as many little uh, pictures uh, on the side of me as, as possible so that you can kind of get the idea that I'm talking about. But like I said, it can include snacks, all your, they, it could be their favorite snacks, it can be uh, chapstick, hand sanitizer, because y'all know we still need hand sanitizer. So get the kids some hand sanitizer. Kid, adult, whatever it is, get them some hand sanitizer. Also, you can get them some nice character socks. All Almost all boys are into, into the character socks. Purchase this online, or you can even DIY it yourself. I've seen in Dollar Tree that they had a lot of good ideas and a lot of good products that you can kind of buy. And you can also get some of the self-care uh, products from like Walmart or Target or something like that. Whatever floats your boat pretty much. But those are just some, some examples. So number two, I would see some type of jewelry. Guys like jewelry. I mean, even if it's just the basics, they love jewelry. You can get them a nice watch for a good price. You can get a nice bracelet or a nice chain. Uh, something that they can rep their year or their zodiac sign or their initials. It, it, the, the, the ideas are endless pretty much, but a nice piece of jewelry goes a long way and it does not have to be too expensive. It could be silver, gold, white gold, whatever the, the person's preference is or whatever your preference is. But I think jewelry is a nice idea for a grad gift. Number three. Now, I don't know about your child, but I know right now LED lights are in. So my number three idea is LED lights. They can put them all around their room, all around their uh, entertainment centers that's in their rooms. Like I said, I bought my son some for, for Christmas and he enjoys them. He loves making different TikToks and different videos using his LED lights and things like that. So number three is LED lights. You can never go wrong. They're not too costly. I mean, they have different kind, different brands. You can look on Amazon, Target, Walmart again. You can find them anywhere almost. But um, LED lights, like I said, they're not that expensive. They're easily find, they're easily accessible. And they, they're actually pretty cool. So number three is LED lights. All right, I think we're on number four, because I'm getting sidetracked by someone. But number four, I would say get a nice wallet. Especially, like I said, if you have an eighth grader going into ninth grade, uh, they're starting to carry their IDs, their money, their little debit cards or whatever it is they need and you want them to learn to try and be a little more responsible. So uh, again, I bought Andreas a wallet for Christmas, even though he has not really been using it, but we're gonna be implementing it more as we're on our journey to independence for him or a little more independence in ninth grade. So a nice wallet, and again, I'm gonna insert pictures, uh, easily accessible, they don't cost that much depending on what you wanna do. 
Uh, but like I said, a nice wallet would be suffice. So that is number four. This is much harder than I thought it was with the little toddler, but we're gonna keep rolling. So like I said, number five is a personalized phone case or iPad case. Now, again, I'm gonna insert pictures, but kids love these things, or oh, excuse me, teenagers, I'm gonna say teenagers, teenagers love these things. You can put their pictures on it, you can put some type of artwork, you can put their initials, their name, any, the, the possibilities again are endless. So number five for me would be a phone case personalized. And I do know a few people that do them. However, you can look on Etsy, Amazon. Number six on our list, and I don't have any hands to show you number six, so I'll definitely put a number up there. But number six, guys, number six are smell goods. Smell goods, smell goods, smell goods. As they are going into that age, that teenage age, as they used to say, they're smelling themselves, and they wanna smell good. They wanna smell good. So, you get them a nice body spray, a nice body wash, a nice cologne, and they're good to go. You can go to Bath and Body Works. They have a lot of good uh, fragrances for guys. You can go to Macy's where they have the different colognes there. Uh, Sephora also, I believe they have a lot of the guy fragrances there as well. Again, possibilities are endless. And the price range, again, you can go from practical up to big baller, you know, but hey, Whatever your whatever your choice is, the possibilities are endless. So number whatever this is, it smells good. Colognes, body sprays. Next on my list is clothes and shoes. Now I know that you probably went through this little phase when there was about seven to ten where they didn't care about clothes and shoes. They didn't want them. They didn't want to have to go get them. But guess what? Going into ninth grade, your first year of high school, getting out of high school, or even getting out of college, they want and they need clothes and shoes. Now. It's up to you what kind of clothes and shoes you're buying them. But I know my child is not all that picky. Uh, he has his own style, but as far as like a name brand or something like that, that doesn't necessarily matter to him. I think it kind of matters to me and dad more than it matters to him. But clothes and shoes, again, infinite amount of places that you can go and get this stuff. You can go from the basics to wear basketball shorts and a t-shirt up until they're gonna want the finer things in life the Jordans, the Air Max, the Air Force Ones, yada, yada, yada. So, clothes and shoes, guys. You can't go wrong. Just a transparent Y'all tell me that it's so easy to get these videos done for y'all with or without a, a baby around, da, 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 da. Y'all say doing while they sleep. He don't sleep. Y'all saying doing while he occupied. Oh, just do it anyway with him in the background. But if you guys can really hear the back no background noise of this video, you would be like, oh my God, send help for her. Back to what I'm doing, cause we're gonna be consistent. So back to what I'm doing. Now I told y'all this was not in any particular order. However, this is when the prices are gonna go up just a little bit more. So you have to decide if they're gonna be doing just one big gift or you're gonna go all the way out. I don't know because I know my child and this is his department. So the next gift idea is gaming. So you can do a game system if they don't already have it. You can do the games that go along with their system and you can do accessories. Accessories can be like new game controllers, um, new, what is the little thing? The memory cards or the block, the memory blocks that go along with the games. Um, any of that type of stuff. You can do gaming chairs. I know with uh, Andreas, he wants to uh, get a gaming chair to put in his room so that he can be more comfortable while he's gaming because I can guarantee you that all summer long Andres is going to be gaming and TikTok and there's nothing else on his agenda besides eating that Andres is work willing to do There's no work. There's no housework. He ain't gonna be feeling none of that but gaming TikTok and eating so um, like I said, gaming ideas, whether it's the PS4, PS5, the Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, if you don't have that, whatever the case may be. Um, I know a lot of these kids are now into like um, the actual computer games. So I don't know how that goes. So if you need to get that, I don't know. But the next thing, like I said, the thing would be is the gaming world. So that will be consistent, like I said, game system, actual games, game accessories, you name it, they'll let it have you guys, even though they may be getting out of school, but we know that school is coming. And again, like I said, I know a lot of kids are into the gaming on the computer. So the next idea is a computer, a Chromebook, or a laptop. 
And I know, like I said, the, they kind of get a little steep up there, guys. But guess what? This is what they into. So you get a computer, so therefore they can have it for the summer to enjoy. But then when school gets back in, bam, they have no excuses as to why they can't do their schoolwork. They got a computer. It's simple. So the last one that I have for you all, if you have not already guessed, is gonna be cash and or gift cards. You can never go wrong with cash in hand, gift card in hand. You don't have to deal with a picky person. Oh, I wanted this, oh, I got that. They can go and get it themselves. So my last and final tip for a grad gift is cash and or a gift card. So there you have it guys. Those are my ideas for 2022 graduation gift ideas. And again, this can be applied for eighth grade, high school, and or college.